Hello, hello, welcome to... Wow, welcome to a new modern video. Today we are going to play the spiciest deck in all of modern. This is Lutri Creativity, more or less. So this list is by um, Skura, Islands in Front, a Polish content creator, and this is a Lutri deck. So for those of you who don't watch Cube, Lutri is a companion that is banned, banned in Commander was banned even before release if I recall correctly and the condition it has as a companion is each non-land card in your sorry in your starting deck has a different name flash three mana three two when looted the spell chaser enters the battlefield if you cast it copy target instant or socially spell you, you control you may choose new targets for the copy it's a very powerful card very powerful effect but it's a steep cost to pay because in commander is free and in cube is free too. Now here we are going to have to get uh, creative, right? So well, the list, as I mentioned, is by Islands in front and it's like a bunch of countries. One of big, weekend, vampires, snare, scolding, you know, could have one preordained, the one of hard evidence. It's also only two colors because you cannot really afford to play more. Actually, like the lands are fine, but usually when you play more colors, it's for one and six and Leila and Mindy and those kind of cards. That why would you play them, right? You cannot really afford them. Are you going to play five colors to play one Leila and Mindy? Not really, right? So, Burst Lightning, Flame Slash, Lightning Ball, and Holy Heat. One change the equation, one deduce, which is actually great for creativity, I, I believe. Mana Leak, Weeman, Counter Spell, every this is wonderful. One four, one Narset, one Fable, one Prismari. One fart, one fiction, one polymorph. This was the way, right? Back in the day, to cheat something into play. So it target creature, it can be regenerated. It's controller reveals card from the top until they reveal a creature card. And you put it into play for four mana. Jace, because why not? Dead Gone, Transmorify. This list is beautiful, super fun. Or even playing through the bridge because, I mean, it's good with Embracool. Archon or Raxa, or a Magmatic Sinkhole, the card that has disappeared from Modern. When this came out, it was so good, right? Like, I remember playing Blue Red Phoenix back then and was like, oh my goodness, one mana, kill like Planeswalker, kill anything. And now you have an Holy Hit. <laughs> you don't even have to delve. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful deck. I, I cannot wait to play it. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I don't know if we are going to win any games, but I hope so. Let's see. Okay, let's go. Reveal my companion, not the one you may expect, and keep a beautiful hand, right? We have a removal spell, we have a draw spell, we have a land to fix our mana. Yeah, I think this is a keep. Probably not like the best keep in history. It's a keep. Our opponent goes, Turn one Ragavan is not something you really do anymore in the format, right? More like Leila in Reiko. <laughs> okay, that's true one raw one. We have the answer. We have the answer for it. Why are we playing with Food Hills? I have no idea. I guess it's just a red fetch land. Also, we want the. I imagine I haven't checked the mana base, but I imagine we have random of color lands to Harkast Atraxa. That would be a good idea. Also, random black lands to Harkast Archon. That sounds like a good idea too. Okay, okay, okay. Kabu is big and annoying. Um, I think playing the deuce is probably better than anything else. Our removal seems very scarce and medium versus this deck. We'll see. Oh, so we have to play red fetch lands because we are a mono red deck, right? That's creativity is mono red. Mm -mm. Our opponent exile our dead gone. That's interesting. Uh, I'm going to take basic mountain because I don't want to take a bunch of damage here. So yeah, we are only playing the black lands. We're not playing like random triumphs or anything. Yeah, holy heat is let's say far away from clean that Kabu. Uh yeah. Putting everything to a graveyard. Just trying to get our count uh, type out uh, so a braid 
it's very good right now in the format. It kills, <clears throat> I would say, it, it kills Sion of Draco, no matter what. Having drawn Archon and Emrakul, not the best. I must say, not the best. Foreign is going to keep exiling our graveyard. Or are they going to lose? They're going to rob it, I guess. This is going to Uh, yeah, yeah, you can discard whatever you want. More time. All right. We are in a spot. Certainly, we can say we're in a spot. You have uh, an Orchid's Bowmaster waiting for me. No. And I have uh, an island. Holy <clears throat> Well, probably going to use double removal on that thing. Not the best. Oh, they probably have counter spells, right? This is the Murtite version. Hmm. That's not good for us. I have to discard instead, so I can discard Narse and get my uh, Holy Heat ready. Okay, let's okay. The idea is we're going to let them use the expressive iteration, so they have to. So maybe there was a, a way we could tie up their mana. Right? It wasn't. Um. Yeah, let's respond to that trigger. Have a holy hit. They're going to counter this almost certainly. Technically, if they go like counter and we draw a land, we could put an Atraxa into play, which is not the best. We'd much rather put an Archon. <clears throat> That's some. Yeah, I got the spell. Remember. Okay, this wasn't the best sewing for the deck. Port Colo, Agro. <clears throat> So dress down probably good. Hibernation probably very good. Uh cluster no no. Blue moon at least decent. Mm -mm -mm, no no no. I don't think this like three mana three damage. It's not what we're looking for. I've done with one, probably not, not wanting a spell pierce. Of course. Snare and Scolding sound okay. Scolding not really, right? It's only good versus Ragavan. Change is fine. Riemann, Counterspell, Malalik are fine. Spell and play. Probably Narset. Yeah, probably Narset. Okay. This sounds fine to me. We have the one island. Alright. I was checking. We had an island. Now we're the. Okay. So this is a solid hand. We're going to get like. A blue red land with a surveil trigger, then maybe a braid the turn one thing, counter spell something, you know, the normal stuff. Opponent seems to be deciding whether they want to mulligan or not. They kept, we kept, we play. Everybody kept. So Dwarven Mine wants us to not fetch an island, just mountain after mountain. Turn one Ragaman again. Okay, we are fine with that. Let me get a Thundering Falls. Maybe get a good survey trigger. Okay, creativity, we already have the barber mine in hand. So you know, you know, we're getting there. Just need some stuff. I'm going to take some damage here, which I don't love. To upgrade that. And then have access to counter. -play. This is the problem of answering Ragavan this way. Are we going to get force on edition? Forgot that crisis. 
So the problem of doing this is now they can resolve anything they want. And like if you don't kill the Ragavan, they start getting advantage from it, and it's also it's another kind of problem. So you know many many issues. Okay, it seems they didn't have a land. That was probably a reason to play a raid on their app. Are you finding a land opponent? They found a breeding pool. Okay. Now I'm going for the Prismari command kill make a treasure, I think. Uh two damage make a treasure. And hopefully spell snare covers us. So next turn I want to play mine and creativity. And I hope we can spell snare something in the process. Like that. That was totally spell snare that. Problem is we are going to creativity into something unknown. So let's see. I could wait. I think I'm going for it. If they have another, um, okay, they did Uh, yeah, a bunch of cards. Some of them are even good. Like I can take Archon and Dwarven and Third Bridge. I like that. And we have an Atraxi play versus an opponent that's not close to having a um, Leila Mining. Well, they need just one mana. Well. We did our thing. Now we keep playing. Is this a Leila Mining on our Atraxa? Okay. Uh, Archon is 12 damage. We'll go for it. They are tapped out. So I'm going for Archon. Hey, like, hey, take 12. That sounds fine to me. Take 12, discard two cards, I draw two cards. You know, they don't sacrifice anything, but aside from that, they could have unholy hit. That would be annoying, but it doesn't seem so. Yeah, looking nice for the home team. We just need to draw one of our lightning bolt effects. Also, they play a million fetch lands, so getting them down to two life with a 1-1 one -one in place is extremely threatening, I would say. Yeah, Kabu, Kabu. You have a Kabu? Yeah, okay. So what? I'm not, I'm not scared. What's your Kabu? I'm going to take my loot. Because it's very lethal, obviously. Uh, yeah, not attacking, of course. I don't believe they will attack. Wow. Okay. I was wrong. I'm never tired of being wrong, I guess. Okay. Now they have a follow-up. Should I play Lutri? I don't think so. Let's play the Deuce. I'm going to try to attack here. Yeah. Have two one ones that are lethal. And a mana leak and a counter spell, so Opponent better have something. <laughs> no, don't do that, opponent. <sighs> Lesson. Wait for the spell to resolve. If I have a Lucy. Bali. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I should take a screenshot of that. Too late. Too slow. 
Ah, I lose, I lose, I lose. Never disappoints. <clears throat> Do I want to change anything? I don't think so. Otter, otter, otter. We have an otter. Is it like an otter dinosaur or something? Elemental, elemental otter. Okay, uh, we have a medium head, but we can kill Tung and Ragaban, and we have a changed equation. Opponent never starting with Leyline. Maybe they don't play it, but they have Leyline or Ragaban, I guess. <laughs> All three games they had a Ragaban pretty much. So, so we have learned our lesson, or that was what I would like to believe, and I will gladly try to kill Jinja. Now, I did mention that I don't think Stun Scalding is good, but maybe is Stun Scalding good versus Kabu? Is Kabu a 0 0 on the stack? Maybe, because it says it gets plus 1 plus 1, right? That's why it dies when you take out the abilities? No, 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 it's a star start. Ah, land, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do it now. I could do it in the upkeep, but. I don't think they have. Oh, I should have done it on my own end step. Oh, that was a mistake. You do it in your end step, it lasts through their turn, so if they have a second Kabu, they cannot play it. This was a beautiful 2 for 1, but it was wrong. Oh, they cannot do that. Yeah, yeah, that was. I'm so bad at this game. We'll get better. This is our first time playing this. Okay, land, wonderful. At least we have the answer for the Ragaman, and after that, we have the Transmogrify. Oh, I will counter this thing. And then we will Transmogrify into something, whether it's Atraxa, Archon, or Enraku. It's so funny not knowing what's going to happen. Uh, at least I think it's funny. Maybe you don't think so. And you are entitled to your opinion. Well, not really. Thundering Falls. I like the Lightning Ball when my opponent is basically playing stuff. You know, you know, I have changed my mind. They have very clearly one mana up. So I'm going to wait. There's no reason to rush this Transmorify, which is like my only effect. Transmorify like effect. When I can wait. Maybe cycle my Star Typhoon, get something going. Yep, let's be patient. Woo, 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 that doesn't go there. We are Ragabanning here. Yeah, I will Star Typhoon for two, I think. Out, not what I wanted to draw. Right, uh, let's work towards that Archon, I think. Again, Patient is the name of the game. Ragavan not really doing much versus our Dwarf token, as it usually happens. So let's ho let's wait until our opponent does something. Let's let them take the first action. We could have taken Lutri into our hand. That was an option, of course. Yeah, that's fine. Should I attempt to kill that thing? I think so. I will fire ice one on one, and then try to lightning bolt it. If this doesn't resolve. Well, then maybe we can easily resolve our Transmogrify. Now here, do I want to fetch a Raucous Theater? Start having black mana? We're at 5 lands only. That's so far away from casting, hard casting Archon. Maybe I just get another Dwarf token and keep going like that. Blaster Stone. Alright. Alright. We got that. Let me get a lot of mine. 
Let me get my token, token, you know? I, maybe this is a good moment to get my loot here. So this was a one for one, huh? Because we use Fire Eyes to kill Ragavan and then we trade Lightning Ball with Fluster Stone. Don't get fooled by. Ooh, sweet. I don't like how that looks, but we can always use Prismatic Command to shuffle those back into our deck. That's not terrible, actually. Because we discard them with. Uh, Prismatic Command, we discard Enragula and Archon, and we get ba both back into the deck. That will work actually very well. We'll suffer a bunch of bad cards in our deck too. So usually in traditional versions of creativity, you could try to rely on your fables to get your archons going. Like her oh my goodness. That's not what I want though. I must tell you this. That's not what I want. Now I 100% have to do the Shuffle and Rakul and, and stuff. I do think our opponent will let our Prismatic Command resolve. Or maybe I'm wrong. But drawing three fatties basically in a row. Also, opponent attacking here for four. That's not great. I also have left one of the Barf Raven tokens back. And maybe that was a mistake. Tian will shuffle Enragul and Archon, if I can. And uh, not choose Scratch to create a treasure token. And let's see if this resolves. If this doesn't resolve, we are a bit screwed. But it's hard for them to counter this, right? Unless they have multiple counter spells. Because like you counter this, I untap, I play creativity and you lose. Archon and And I kinda of hope I hit the right one. Uh, maybe fetching there was a mistake because you know Lightning Bolt is a card that actually sits in this format. There's 50 50. If we hit Enrakul, I think we're going to lose. But if we hit. If we hit Archon, I think we are fine. We may hit neither because they, they totally have a removal spell here. Yeah, maybe we needed to fetch, right? What we need, didn't need to do was that go down to four. That was the main issue here. We didn't have to go down to four. That was my mistake, I think. Maybe there were more mistakes. Okay, we are trying. We are learning this deck. It's not an easy one because it's probably not the best deck. Right? All right, all right. I would like to play first, and I would like to reveal. My other. This seems like a nice hand. Yeah. But what to do with this Dwarven Mine? I think we can hold it. So play good at full heal go. Then try to remand something. And between the scry, sorry, the surveil trigger, and the remand, try to find a third land. Yeah, yeah. Mm, I think we had a real chance to win that last game. It was a bit unlucky to do them, you know, the three fatties. But also, there wasn't a great moment to resolve our spell. But if, if instead of drawing the fatties, we draw other spells. Oh, we messed up the turn when we let them attack with Ragavan because we didn't dress down at the appropriate timing. That was very important, actually, right? That was a key mistake. Okay, let's learn. All right. 
Current thought a lot about their mulligan. I like this Riemann art more. Ooh, mono red. So probably fetching a mountain then. I want to draw a land, so we'll let the trigger resolve. Because if there's a land on top, we'll get it. If there's not a land on top, we'll suffer it away. Get our mountain. Our honey is decent versus barn. The problem is we have no proactive plan. We only have reactive things. But at least we having the turn one removal. And now if they go monastery monastery, that's not great. But if they go Adolon, then our hand is great at that point. We can remana two drop here. It's going to be so decent. Only problem with the island is it won't help me. That's what I was saying. Like I want to remand this because I don't want them to use their mana and other things. But it's not the, the greatest. Jay is the mind sculptor, better than all. Okay. Uh I will play the Narset, taking the damage. I think it's important. To develop a threat and as it is kind of a threat so more importantly it will help us find our threats in this case a removal and then maybe we find a, a creativity also if they kill narset well it has gained us back the life we paid for the steam bench right lightning ball my face where are we not in narset in that case, I don't think I want to force on negation yet. At some point, I will have to. Maybe that was the point. <laughs> nah, it's fine, it's fine. We're doing fine. Jace is a good answer for it alone. Like, okay. See, creativity is nice. I take one damage, bounce back the Eidolon. And oh, oh, not. Oof. Ooh. Okay, take three. That wasn't nice. That wasn't as nice as I wanted it to be. We may be dead now. We may be dead. I don't love that. Like, two spells kill us, right? Bolt, bolt. Last spike, last spike. School crack and another thing. Yeah, anything kills us. If this is just... Put you down to three life, play Eidolon. That's manageable. Do I want to draw with Jace? I could draw with Jace. Try to find. No. I think Jace Bounce is going to be the play. Let me do this first. Oh, sorry. Okay, we find Archon, I think we win. We find anything else, probably not winning. At least now we have the Force of Negation, and they didn't have another spell. So, you know, there's a chance. Because they. What do they have in hand? More lands? Revolt? Squeezy Firecraft! LOL! Main deck Squeezy Firecraft! Wow. We revealed 29, la 29 cards until finding them revealed. Wow. Squeezy Firecraft main deck. 
Well, that I didn't expect. Okay, so versus Burn seems like not the best of matchups, right? Blaster and Dispel seems fine. Narset again not the best uh, at its best. <sighs> we need to hit Archon. It was the only reasonable one. Uh, 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 uh Stone Scolding is fine. Pierce Snare. Even Peek and Quicken are fine. Just to make our deck a bit smaller. Probably we don't need Fat Proficion. Create. We just need quick. Like we need to try to find our combo quickly. We were a bit a bit slow that one. This hand is fine. It's lacking on removal. But having the spells there is going to be re relevant. And we have the Flaster too. You know, solid interaction. We don't play that many one mana removal spells, right? I want to draw that. Mm -mm -mm. Lava spike, turn one. Uh, that's it. Well, if I. If they are, if they are having a spell heavy hand. We have the perfect hand to combat it. The problem for us is a creature right now. Unless it's Eidol Eidolon again. We're very very well prepared for that. Oh yeah, our hand lining up beautifully here. Getting the second Thundering Falls. Okay, I, I think that's fine because they can find another creature at any point. So yeah. We have the Deuce for the card advantage and the artifact for creativity. Flaster and Pierce and Dead go on to interact at 16. Feeling good. Feeling good, I must say. Okay. Let's play P. What a fun card. Skewer, Lightning Leagues, Boros Charm, Reprieve. Cyborg Reprieve. Okay. You can reprieve this. I'm fine with that. Well, expressive iteration is not terrible. If it finds a lamb, I'm happy. Found Lorian Reveal, which is something. Oh, shit, 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 shit. shit. Doesn't work that way, right? Have to have it in hand for it to work. Okay, that was kind of shitty. Don't love it. Okay, both charming. If I want to keep up. I'm going to. Okay, I, I need to find stuff right now. Our opponent doesn't have all that much damage in hand right now. Oh, right. So now any fetch land gets, gets us a polymorph. And we have. Blaster and Spell Pierce to protect. They can deal us 6 damage if they want. I'm not sure if they want to. Okay. Oh, Boros Charm, that's good. Are we screwing in the critics too? Are we keeping Reprieve up? Finding Helix. It was this one, right? We have five life. Sinkhole, not what I'm looking for. Just need a fetch land. Problem is if we find oh, that's kind of city. Sure. Going down to two, not great.
Not wait, I must say. They can reprieve their own skewer if they want. Have guaranteed three damage for next turn. That's a, a very cool play. Maybe. Okay. So we draw a fetch line. We polymorphy. Spell pierce the reprieve and hit Archon. And they don't hit another board chart. If they have a land on top, I think we just win. No matter what we hit. Let's hope they have a land on top. If they have a land or a creature on top, we win. They have to reprieve this almost. Are they going to not do it? Okay, Archon, 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 Emrakul. All right, please do not draw a burn spell. Opponent that has 25 burn spells in their deck, or 30, or however many. Well, that's a redraw, please. Run. Ah, uh, we dead. We super dead. Ah, damn it. That didn't feel close, but at the same time, we did manage to put Enrakul in play twice. Should we have taken out Enrakul? Maybe. You know, maybe we shouldn't have. We should have another thing in the sideboard. Fiona. <laughs> okay, let's try again. We'll get there eventually. I think this hand is way too slow for modern. And this hand is way too unplayable. Opponent on seven. That's a lot of cards. So this is the same hand we had at the beginning. More or less. But with less cards and removal instead of card advantage. So even less cards. Ah, uh, yeah, you are going away. Godless Rhyme. Is this Godios Vengeance? Okay, theater. I don't think that's going to be good. We already have a removal. We just want to find our creativity, right? Or polymorph effect, whichever it is. Palagia Archaeologist. Okay, this. What are we hitting? Okay, we hit the Rizzo Run. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, we are dying. I will fetch for another survey land, which are great. They are basically our spells in this game because we have no actual real spells. Tinted indulgence discarding a praxa. And tap for it. Okay. It's our chance. Let's draw something good. Enrakul is terrible because they are, they are um solitude deck, right? So Enrakul does very little. Wow, we're so good at this game. Uh, let's hit our own attracts, I guess. If we hit Enrakul, can they not have solitude? That would be fair. We did Mulligan to five, so. Would be fair to catch a break. Also, say they have solitude, they probably should solitude the token. They didn't solitude the token or the Enrakul. That's a star. Is Enrakul going to win a game, finally? After all these years? We have been hitting Enrakul a lot. Why? 
Probably so many unluckies. And now we're going. Okay. You guys don't find sorry, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Discarding user run and grief. I'm a scar. Gorios on the Atraxa. No, and I take the indulgence. That was very fast. I ah, no, only draw two. Ah, ah, we won a game. <laughs> oh my god, I'm Rakul. So, surgical seems good. Dispel seems good. Asiox seems good. Probably test of talent isn't terrible or even dress down the, like we don't want lightning bolts right basically we just want counter spells that's it okay uh mystical dispute like this mm, yeah. <laughs> what a hand this spell used to be a playable cyborg car in more it's fascinating to me that it's completely Nowhere to be seen. This is actually a very good hand. We have double counter spell. The creativity. So this deck really, really wants to draw creativity over the other cards, right? Because if you ever get to creativity for more than one, and you start getting like Enrakul plus Atraxa or Archon, now you are talking. If this was paper, our opponent will certainly hit an Atraxa with that Surveil trigger, but it didn't happen. Because Magic Online shuffled that deck. Adequately. Adequately. I'm not in false. Uh, Mana Leak is probably fine. Well, we will surround ourselves with a wall of counter spells. We don't mind to draw an extra land. So let's try. Yeah, I don't want that. Draw. Surveillance are so fun, right? They feel so powerful. But yet, they are like a tap land. And sometimes they are terrible for your mana curve. And I think lands that incentivize you to slow down a bit, slow the game, they are good. They are good for the game. You know, like you get incentives. Also, that's true that you get an incentive to not take action because you can just use your lands to get an advantage. So you don't really need to do things. That could be problematic. Are you countering this? Probably dispelling it because I kind of need the lands. Perfect. This was like the perfect expressive iteration. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. The combo deck to beat the combo decks. Five mana. Are we hard casting a grief? No such thing. Okay. Do I want to fetch? No. La draw. As I was saying, take no action. Probably at some point use Prismatic Command. They clearly have a very reactive hand. So why would I be doing things when I can be doing not that? Okay, fetch again. They can hard cast attracts an extra one. If that's what they want. That's uh, two cards and a token for myself. Thank you very much. Please stop drawing the fatties. We have drawn a lot of the fatties. Plus the storm and dress down. I don't really love Dressdown right now. 
but Flaster Storm seems decent. I'm going to fetch and start attacking with the Dwarf tokens, you know. This is easier in the Grand 6 versions because you get like a non stop amount of what you can get for maximum. Like, you know that. Oh, I forgot to take out the Braid. There was a mystical dispute in our cyborg. Um, should be there instead of the Braid. I'm gonna take our loot tree companion into our hand. Worst case scenario, it's a blue card for the force. What is this? Solitude, Farcast. No, my dress down. <laughs> You get your solitude, buddy. They are only down to four cards in hand. Oh, I just realized I discarded the mana leaf. Which means we don't really have an answer for Harkas Raxa if they decide to go for it. Which is not a given. Okay. Well, having some removal, that's it's not terrible, I guess. But why a braid, right? It should be lightning bolt at least. Oh, ephemerate. Okay. You get an ephemerate. For your troubles. And I lose sacred. Ooh, hard evidence, that's nice. You could copy it with Lutri. I don't think it's necessary. Also, copying flash. I was thinking about copying Flaster Storm. It's probably not the best play in the world. Alright, bye bye, Craft Token. It was real. Game Seal Life. <sighs> so I try to creativity here for two. I don't think so. I truly do not think so. Problem right now is our opponent has no reason to take after them, right? They have the 3 2 in play, the other ones attacking. But they clearly have a counter spell. Or several. Lands are fine. If I'm hitting my land drops, I'm probably also not taking action. I can take a couple more damage from that credit in that solitude. Painted indulgence, fine. You can scoop your hand. They did have the Raxa. Well, maybe they just found it. Since we have the spell snare, which is such a cheap way to counter the Gorios, I'm very happy doing this. Now they can do it again. I'll add it. You know what? I want to draw. Hopefully they go yours here in response. No, they didn't. They will go. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. They are tapped out. So I'm I'm imagining they have some number of force of negations in their hand. So, you know, we have a plan, which is Creativity plus Plus Storm. And if they have double Force of Negation and double Lucar, well, then it sucks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. I think that's right. If this results, we get so many triggers. We did. Yoohoo. We have a lot of things that will die to solitude and um, mm -mm. going to take a stern scolding for solitude. Jace because it's nice and cool, and that's it because I have to discard, discard to hand size. All right now we have stern scolding plus force of negation. 
which is not nothing. And we just need one of our creatures to survive. Right? We don't need all of them. That's the one. That's the Femerate. That's the Force of Negation for you. Probably with Polymorph since it does very little right now. Okay. What else do we have? Gorios? Touch the Spirit Realm. Well, that exiles one of the things. Probably either Enragul or Archon. Because Arraxa doesn't do much. And Rakul makes sense. But then I get to attack with my Archon and my Raksa, and that's like a million now. Yeah. Happy. Lutri, Lutri. You cannot be sad. You are playing a note. An elemental note. Oh, how could you be sad? What an reveal Giganta, the Wellspring. We have Enrakul, Jace. Jace shuffles back the Enrakul, you know. We have a removal spell, probably a, probably a bad keep, but a decent one. Hits maze. Okay. We are fine with that. I'm going to do the same, but with different colors. Lands are good, spells are okay, depending on which one they are. El Drathi Temple. By me. Binding of the Titans. What's going on? Exile up to two target cards from graveyards. For each creature exile this way, you gain one. I'm pretty sure this is either a Spider and Spike view, which I haven't checked yet, or this person is really cooking. What does the third chapter do? Return target. Future or land car from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, they have a forest. That's something. So this is two mana for a regrowth. Well, regrowth actually costs two mana. But then it doesn't do much. Like, I don't get it. Doesn't seem like the best of cards. Uh, who am I to judge a deck that I don't know what's doing? A Malik, probably good. Uh, good at full heals, I would like to save for my Transmogrify. So it's so tempting, right? To fetch a survey land every turn of the game. And it stands to reason that. We should save it for, a transmo for our transmogrify. Grapple with the past. Four white. More binding of the titans. Is this a thing? Am I missing something? They have one land and they can fetch to have a second land for this one. Are they trying to play Enrakul? Is that what, what's going on? It's Enrakul the card. You know, we have an Enrakul too. Okay, get your windswept hit back. This has to be like some some sort of turbo Enrakul deck, right? Like Enrakul the the promised one. Another one of those. Do I even care? I don't think I care. Why would I care? Discarding the one ring and another binding. Alright. Uh, that's not a bad draw. I'm going to try to go for Transmogrify. They probably have some sort of interaction, right? They have to have a counter spell or something. Right? I have no idea what's going on. But even if this doesn't go well, okay. When fine at least. So when you are controlling my turn and you have an Enrakul with an Enrakul and I have an Archon, 
Well, they can Jace bounce back the arc. I'm still assuming Enrakul is whatever is going on here. Because wh why else would you do all of this? Binding of the Titans is two mana do nothing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They have 7. Can they play Enrakul now? Oh my god, they can play Enrakul, I think. 7 mana, right? They have. Yeah. So this is kind of city. For them, because if they attack with Archon, they have to sacrifice on Rakul, so it doesn't work. They can Jace, bounce the Archon, but then I get my turn, and I play through the bridge and Rakul, and I have a Jace in play. So our hand is very mind slaver proof. I would say. Mm. Well, you can do the Jace play, Jace bounce, and also fetch nothing, but then... If I fetch, if I use Jace and find a land, I do the through the bridge. And they die? Well, they don't die. They just sacrifice all their lands and block with their 13 13. So they do not die. They can also play through the. I don't know what they're going to do. Let them do it. Okay, they're going to try to kill it. Okay, okay. That's probably the best play, actually. I didn't think about it. But now if I draw a land, I win. Land. Untap one. Of the untap variety. This. Hmm. Wasn't. So I Jace. Bounce Emrakul? Do I want to bounce Emrakul? No, I just want to draw. I want to find a land. There are a couple of lands there. I think this is fine. They could have a, a backup and Rakul. That would be annoying, actually. Are we going to die to a Turbo and Rakul deck? That would be so funny. Okay. Oh my god, a backup and Rakul? Now we're in trouble. Now we're in real trouble, actually. They can go through the bridge. Not put anything into play and then unholy hit the Jace. And now we are dying. Ooh, we are dying. We are in big trouble, fellas. Our opponent is really, really doing it. Wow. I don't think we can win now. We'll draw a fetch. Oh, if they put Enrakul into play and shuffle it back. That would be the best thing ever. They did it. They're not going to attack, obviously. But now, and Rakul is... So, we had a land on top, and now we have a chance. There's hope to draw something. The deuce into... Okay, with you, exactly the same card. It's, of course, random, but, you know... Classic, have the f same card on top and draw, draw it again. Wow. Enrakul. So Asiok has to be good versus a true Enrakul deck. Uh, some number of removal spells have to really suck. Probably surgical extraction since they self mill a lot. Probably Blood Moon. They were playing like uh, Bounce Lands and stuff. Cast into a fire for the One Ring. Uh, uh, um, I don't think Dispute, Urination, Test. Okay, so let's put Lightning Bolt and push Lightning back as removals. That was impressively fast. Of course, how we don't. Like, our deck is not a great deck, probably. 
So maybe we lost because we did nothing and our opponent did nothing and we just lose. And any normal deck would have won. But I don't know. This seems like a decent hand. We have the, the Polymorph. We have the Force of Negation. Okay, there's the land. Mm -mm. Opponent need a one wing. This is so interesting, such an interesting deck. And Rakul is such a powerful effect. And it's also a 13 13 trample. Am I supposed to counter this? No way, right? Like, literally, no way. Oh shit, okay. Uh, I forgot that mills you, so I will take the statements. <laughs> yeah, that was not my greatest play. Should have waited for it to resolve. And then get the Thundering Falls, which was the plan. Eh? Uh. All right, okay, now we Narset, which will offset nothing but it's like a good car on itself does it sound weird when i talk like this feels weird they probably have spells right like counter spells and for some negation of their own We should play a one of this undoing in case we draw we draw the Narset plus this undoing combo. You know, because why not? Uh can I get my Narset activation resolved, please? No, it doesn't seem so. Okay, I did. Uh, I will take the surgical strategy actually. Probably surgical something at some point. Like, even surgical in El Dracy Temple. Oh, they play are a Razor too. Whatever land they try to get back with this, I will consider surgical in. The Binding of the Titans, a weird regrowth. I think they have Force of Nation in hand. That's why they played so slowly. Another Binding of the Titans, okay? Please hit and Rakul so I can surgical it. Oh, they did. I will surgical it right now. Are they going to concede if I surgical it? It would be very funny. If I surgical that and they concede in response, it would be extremely funny. I don't know what they have in their deck aside from Enrakul, and I would love to see the deck. So please, opponent, do not concede and do not counter this. Let me see your secrets. Fetching with windswept hit for forest. I don't think that's how it works. Ah, uh, they they get they oh they don't even draw because of Nasset. Shit, that's rough. Okay, so they have literally nothing else in their deck other than. Turbo. This is the most Turbo and Rakul deck I have ever seen in my life. It's two ramp spells in the force of form of Explore, an Arboreal Grazer, Anthony Steering's Traverse the Unbenwal, Rappel. This is like a fun deck. Turbo, Turbo and Rakul, huh? 
Okay, now that we know what we know, they didn't even have counter spells, so I'm not considering bringing in nothing from here. Right? Yeah. Okay, blue tree. Okay, <sighs> counter spell plus polymorph seems like a keep. Having a tracks in hand not the best. But it's. I don't think we can mulligan this one. Marcus Theater. Yep. This will not lead to a turn 2 counter spell. But. It's fine. Robert with the pass. Get back El Rasi Temple, I presume. They could take back Arboreal Racer to ramp El Rasi Temple. It also ramps. It's basically car advantage, right? Two Lancing one. Okay. Gracer, they are going fast. Five card types already. Huh. Uh, oh, the sinkhole, not a card I want. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Five, eleven mana, basically, for Enrakul. So, technically, with another Eldrassi Temple next turn, they can play it. Should I mulligan aggressively to surgical extraction in this, in this matchup? Like, we only have the one. But they basically always mill an Unracul, right? It's like a core part of, the, of their game plan. <sighs> Simic Road Chamber, fine. I'm scared. Explore. You know what? I'm going to counter that. I don't want them ramping. Uh, next turn they can end Rakul. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But I will have either an end Rakul on my own, a bigger mother end Rakul, or an Archon. I don't even know what I want to hit. 50-50, I guess. Can I get... Uh, I don't even know what I want to get. It's so weird, right? There was a video by Owen explaining why... Hmm, the One Ring. Why Enrakul is terrible, because like it makes good cards. Like, you're playing good cards in your deck that interact and do things. And Enrakul makes it, so... Well, they suck. And that's kind of city, I guess. Uh, attacking here doesn't make any sense. They do not have Enrakul yet in hand, I believe, because they could have played it last turn, probably. So I'm going to do this and look at their top. Oh, I cannot do that. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm going to. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's put push lining and a drag on top. Now if they end Rakul, they can use Jace against me, which is very terrible. So maybe playing Jace there sucked. The problem is they could play Jace anyway, right? But maybe I should have a side the one ring. I could have hit a land. And use that for the one ring. No, I couldn't, right? I didn't miss any land drops. It's turn six for our opponent, it was turn five for us. But if they do not have an Enrakul in hand and they do not find one with the one ring, they are in for a treat. One, two, three, four, five. So they have eight mana. 
They can go traverse the open. Okay, they have the Raculet Sims. Or they could have all his dust. Okay, and Raculet. And Vesuva. Now I'm not sure if playing Jace was a good idea or not, but here it is. I hope this is what happens. No, I don't know what's going to happen. Our opponent will probably spend our indomitable creativity killing their own and Rakul. That's probably what they should do. So we cannot use it when it comes to our turn. Also, I thought there was a... A boss line in on top, not an attraction. The thing is, if they so they can go Jace, Bounce, Archon, use creativity on Enracul. They can then so uh, creativity on Enracul, they get an another Enracul. Yeah, and I have my Archon in hand. Where which is a terrible place to have it. No. Huh. They chose that. That's risky. What if I find a fetch land? If I activate Jace and find a fetch land, I have an indomitable creativity in hand. Are they trying to creativity for zero? Are they cycling certain? Oh, can you? Oh, you can do it for zero. Okay, okay, I didn't know you couldn't do it for zero. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay, now it's a lot harder for me. Kind of want to just jace that thing, but they will play it again. But if I don't. I think I just have to draw. At least I can get these two out. Maybe hit expressive iteration. Maybe hit something with expressive iteration, sorry. Uh, uh, uh. Transmogrify into Archon. That would work, I guess. Let me see your hand, I guess. Let me see your secrets. Do they have another Enracul? No. They have a grapple to get... They can play another Enracul from the graveyard if they want. With that grapple with the past. Also, they have uh, the One Ring to draw a million cards. Oh, well, Enracul is a powerful card. Or did they get back? I mean, they had an Iron Rakul, right? They could have gotten that back. Yeah, they took an Iron Rakul. So they can play in Rakuls until the end of time here. We are kind of locked out of the game from, with the Rakuls. We're not giving up. But, you know, they will get our fa Fable trigger. What if the play was hardcasting Shark Typhoon? That could have been the play. It is true that going for the iteration gave us a real chance at finding something significant. But I don't know if that was right. I just know it's what we did. Okay. Please do not find anything good that you can use against me. You may discard up to two cards. I don't think you even... Hmm. Our opponent is, is playing very well, so... I think we are being outplayed, probably. First of all, because we have no idea what they are doing, and they have all the idea what we are doing. Our deck is weird, but not really. 
just a simple create a weird creativity there. The discarding sort typhoon makes sense and the deuce. Oof, you got as your target as. No, but you cannot do that, right? Because Asio sides graveyard, including Merrick graveyard. That's too risky. They could factor Fitzion and choose zero cards. That's fun. There's one thing that happens with the creativity decks. It gets a point in the match, in the game, that you just want to fetch for Dwarven Mines so you don't really get uh, the colors anymore like we have two blue lands and that's it Okay, we are playing Asiok and Mana Liquid. Good play. They did Mana Leak probably because they messed up with the. Um, uh, I would say. Uh, priorities and stuff. It's really hard, Night Online, to control your opponent's spawn. Attacking with the dwarf token, I guess. Not attacking with the dwarf token. That's weird. So quick and I suppose no, I should totally thunder in force first. Uh, what to do, what to do, what to do. As you them? You can bail up somewhere? Do I care? Probably don't. We'll take the Transmogrify. Choose Pile 2. Okay. Um, technically, not dead. Right? Rakul is good, but doesn't kill us yet. They can play another end. Should we have Asiok ourselves to exile their whole graveyard? It doesn't matter, right? They have so much mana. Like, they still have four, five more mana there. Huh. Okay, that's what we're doing. So I need to find Archon, right? Oh yeah, Archon is not enough. We do have the Transmogrify in hand, so that's something. Because if I play Enracul, if I go Transmogrify into Enracul, is that enough? You know the problem? They have Veil of Summer, another one? Oh, another Rakul. They have another Bale of Summer, it sucks. It's such a weird game. Such a weird deck, too. They do one thing. They do it very consistently, I think. What was that, like turn 5 and Rakul? That's very consistent. Do they have another Bale of Summer? We're dead. But if we hit Enracul, I don't know if we win.
Okay. We hit and rockle. Your go opponent. Show me what you got. Rubber. Do I care about that? We'll snare it because why not? Basically free, right? Is it? If they play an iron Rakul, I would want to cycle Lorien reveal. So if they don't get the option to draw cards while controlling my turn and do things. Maybe Enrakul was better than Archon. Because they don't seem to play interaction other than all his dust. Will make them pay more. I, I want to empty my hand basically. So I have all lands. And I'm at four life, so they cannot kill me with fetching. Getting the steam bends so they cannot fetch for food. Okay. Okay, opponent. What now? They can keep keep cycling and buckles, I guess. They are dying to the one ring too. Uh lightning bolt is gone, burst lightning is gone, so no direct damage. Um we attack, they have to jump block and sacrifice six things. I guess they can, if they control enough of our turns, they can kill us with fetch lands. But we get two attacks before that happens. I don't think that's a reality. Also, we have a remand to <laughs> send an Iron Rakul back to our hand. And in later six, they have to sacrifice the One Ring and five lands. Probably hitting Enrakul was better than hitting um, the other one. They didn't block? They forgot to block. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, was, that was so weird. I think we were winning anyway. Because they play an Alan Rakul, control our turn, we go. They play a fetch land, go down to one, and we attack and win. So. Okay, let's get our 3-2. Okay. Okay. We win. We get a 3-2. This is a positive record deck and is definitely broken. We lose 2-3 negative record. I'm literally unplayable. I don't make the rules, that's just how it works. Also, this is an unplayable hand. <laughs> Ooh, Mulligan it. It's fine. Getting to Mulligan unplayable hands is wonderful. And one of the better things of the mulligan rule. So embrace it. Embrace the mulligan rule. Mulligan. You know what? I'm going to keep it. And I'm going to keep the arc the through the rich archon like it's vintage cube. You wanted to see modern, well, wrong format. Jaumoth? We haven't played versus Jaumoth or Amulet, which are two of the top tier decks. Modern leagues are like that, right? You never get the, the tier decks, you get the Turbo and Rakul deck. Lightning Bolt. Mm, boost Lightning Bolt. This may be Scam. Scam is somehow still a deck, because Sokos keeps, keeps winning with it. Did our opponent keep out to DD one lander? I think they did. Greedy, greedy people. Keeping one landers. One lander Ragavan on the place. Not enough. You should move on in those hands. Okay, another Ragavan. Fine, 
I'm going to cycle the Shark Typhoon with an um, Steam Lens. So I get a blocker and I get deeper into my deck. Uh, cycle this quicken. Wonderful. Flame as last that thing and attack for one. Well, magic is easier when your opponent doesn't play spells. I'm not an expert, but I'm pretty sure that's how that that's true. Alright, we have a spell. Uh it's a Douthy Void Walker, which it probably is. You know, I'm going to use my good full heals in response, and if I see a land on top, I will not do anything else. You know, I'm not doing anything else. I want to get the through the bridge value with Archon. Perfect. So good. I'm so good at this game. Like, sometimes I have to remind myself, you know, you know those days that you're not winning enough, like round one <laughs> or two. And sometimes you just gotta remind yourself, like, no, no, no. I know how to play this. We set it up perfectly versus an opponent that has no resources because they haven't played. So this is completely unfair. But, you know, don't keep those hands. I don't know, maybe it was a good hand. Probably is. Like, I, I'm not a fan of one landers, but they have a time and place. Not when you are getting attacked by an Archon of Cruelty. Oh, yeah. Well, opponent is dead, and they know it. And if they don't, they are very optimistic. You are masters. So good. So good. I have a prismatic command for lethal in my hand. Uh, two damage, create a treasure token. We could do the draw, draw this card. The problem is then you have to actually draw this card and it takes more time. And time is the most valuable thing, right? Your time, my time, there's a lot of time here to be wasted when we do silly things. Dress down seems okay versus them. So does... Oh, there's probably Anger and Brotherhood, and this is the matchup for them. No Narseta or Force. Uh, no Spellbeards. Even though it's like fine versus fable and whatnot. Yeah, let's go. Lutri, let's let's have another smashing win. No with this hand. Like, this is the classic hand like oh I can draw and then maybe play a fable and then you are dead. Because you have no interaction and this is the kind of hand that we lose to a one land Ragaban hand for our opponent. Mulligan. Better, better. This is a lot better of a hand. Yep. Aye, thought sees. That feels unfair. Ooh, the deuce is such a wonderful draw. Because they know we have the abrade. So when we have um, two mana up, they may go like, ooh, I'm not going to play this because they have a removal. And then we go like, oh, draw a card. Make a clue, and that's it. Do, 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 do. Are you playing a Douthi when you know we have the upgrade? We are dashing Ragaman. Nice, 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 nice. Now the problem is if we kill it. We will 
get god by a reanimator spell. Which, you know, it's what it is. Uh, Doubtful, okay. That does sound to me like they have um, a scam effect, or whatever you want to call it. Still, probably fine to try and kill Doubtful. If they dash Ragavan here, it would be a bit weird. Like, why play the Doubtful first? Isn't that the most obvious? Scam effect ever. I'm going to deduce. Change of plans. Because I want to kill the Ravan. So I will try to kill it next turn so they get to. They basically get a tap on Ravan. That's the, that's the idea. Oh! So now we go deal 3 damage to that thingy and they go haha bring it back haha haha do they think Douthi is more important and they want to protect Douthi ah Douthi is important the falls can I find a uh, oh anger Ooh, anger with quicken oh yeah anger with quicken that's going to be neat actually I like it I hope they play a, another creature a raga one even grief just play something, opponent. Can we wait more turns? I mean, we can wait. Do I want to? Yeah. Why not? Bowmasters. Perfect. Now I may anger in my turn. Because I don't want to lose the Dormant Mine token. Oh, okay, I can make a Rolkus Theater thingy. That's fine. Then That's kind of perfect for next turn. Luca. Is Luca more perfect? I think so. It's a placeholder value. Because it's like a second to modify, basically. Please, that's our Ragavan. It's all I ever wanted. It's all I ever wanted. Oh, is this a... Oh, mama! Oh, mama! How are you even playing around this? Oh, I know how. With um, another Bowmasters making a 4-4. Oh, mama. This is nasty. And all your scam effects in hand. See ya, nerd. Not dead after all, but it's totally exciting. It was wonderful. What a beautiful play. Skillful display. Okay, they have a follow up. I didn't expect that. I think we're going fine. Luca! Let me put it on Peluca! It's 
side target key to G control, then rebel card spawn the top and yada 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 trigger. Do 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 Atraxa? Nice. I don't mind an Atraxa. I, I'm an, an Atraxa enjoyer from time to time. Well 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 Nutri Creativity got a 3-2. We got a treasure test. That was pretty neat. I hope you liked it. I had a lot of fun. Also that weekend into anger, that was a beautiful way to end the league. Thanks for watching everybody. Yeah, see you tomorrow for another video. See ya.